Good evening everyone, this is Brimster, and today I'm trying another Quattro Quadri. This one is called Light Bulb by Maya. Um, and yeah, I haven't done one in a week or so. Um, I've really been enjoying that people have been submitting these because they're a bit brain melty and often a lot of fun. Um, yeah, let's just get straight to the puzzle. So uh, I, I should do the YouTube thing. Please like and subscribe and comment below on what you think of, I don't know, the state of things. How's the weather? Um, let's have a look at the puzzle. So, uh, light bulb by Maya. So, um, quadro quattro, we have to place the digits one to nine into uh, once each into the three by three boxes. Digits may not repeat in the same row column or three by three box. So um, yeah, we may not repeat digits in these six cell long rows or columns, but we have to put the digits one to nine once each in each of the boxes. Anti-king, cells that are a ch chess kings move apart may not contain the same numbers. So for example, if I was to look at this cell, none of these digits may be the same digit. Now normally uh, by Sudoku, I'm ignoring the diagonals for now, these digits could not, it could be the same. But by um, anti-king, they can't because a king, if this was a mini chessboard, um, a, king, a king in chess could move to that square. So none of these could be the same digit. And this is the same in any square on the board. So it's often called no touch or untouch because no digit may touch um, a cell that contains the same digit. Uh, okay. Um, anti-king on a quattro quadri. That's going to be interesting. Hmm. Uh, thermometers. Digits must uh, strictly increase along grey thermometers from the bulb end. That's perfectly fine. This is a weird looking thermo. Okay. Um, white dots, self-separated by a white dot must be consecutive and diagonals. D numbers may not repeat um, along uh, uh, on the marked diagonals. So there's no repeats on this diagonal and there's no repeats on this diagonal. Now, normally it's like, well, there's diagonals and nine cells long. They're not in this puzzle. I don't know what's on the diagonals. This is going to be fascinating. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. One thing I do know is I cannot put one in any of those cells because if I do, this digit it would have to be lower than wherever I put the one. So this is a one. So this is at least a two, but eh? now I do know the two is in one of those cells, but after that, it gets a bit weird. Okay. I do know this is the nine because if I put the nine here, nine, 10, 11, 12, doesn't work. Nine, 10, not um, anywhere else along this. I can only put a nine at the end of a thermo. So that becomes a nine. Okay, so there's no one or nine in any of those cells. So what that's told me is this isn't a one and this isn't a nine. But I've got so much leeway on these thermos. Now the eight, so where's the eight in this box? It is a bit restricted. I think it can only go in one of those two cells because if I put the eight, so let's, I'm gonna go through first principles here, okay? So let's unmark that one, eight. 8, 9, 10 doesn't work. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 doesn't work. 8 in any of those doesn't work. There's too many cells along the thermo. 8 here works. 8, 9, 10, or 8 here, there'd have to be something between 8 and 9. This one is just as ridiculous. I think 8 has to be in one of those two. So yeah, that's fine. But the others seem a lot more free. I'm going to mark this thermo, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So this is two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. But I'm not sure what that's telling me. Because the other digits here are way more free. Maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six. So two, three, four, five, six is just redonkulously huge. Anti-king. This can't be a nine. So if this was an eight, this would be a nine and I'd break anti-king. This isn't the eight. This is the eight. Right. Anti-king. I'd forgot. Anti-king. Okay. This eight is saying this isn't an eight. So this isn't a seven. This isn't a six. This isn't a five. This isn't a four. So the seven in here. If this was a seven, oh. so the seven is in one of those two. 
Because if the 7 here, this is 8. If 7 is here, this is 8. But I can't put 7 in those. 7, 8, 9 doesn't work. 7, there'd have to be something between the 7 and the 8. Okay, so... 7 is in one of those two. If 7 is here, this is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And that would be a 4. But that's okay. Because 7, 6, 5, 4, and that's the... Oh, no. Yeah, 3, 2, and the 4 would have to be here because the 4 would see all of those. So we'd have 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We'd have 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. This would be 4. These would be 5 and 6. Which doesn't work. This can't be the 7. Look at this. If this is the 7, this is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. This is the 4. But these become 5 and 6. And I've got 5 or 6 less than 4. That's not the 7. That's the 7. This is 8 or 9. And it can't be 9. It's 8. There's a 5 and a 6 in there. This is consecutive. If this is 4, this is 3. If this is if this is 5, this goes 4, 3. And what do I put here? This can't be a 5, because it goes 5, 4, 3. Absolutely forced. If this is a 5, this has to be lower, which is 4. This has to be lower, which is 3. But if this is 4, what's consecutive with it? Because I put a 3 here and a 5 here, there's nothing consecutive with it. This can't be a 5. This is a 6. This is a 7. Now I've got some freedom. Because if this is a 5, this could be a 4 and that could be a 3. If this is a 4, that could be a 5 and that could be a 3. Either way, if this is a 5, that's a 3 no matter what. If this is a 5... This has to be a 4, and that's a 3. If this is a 4, that's a 3. This is always 3 and 2. That's so weird. I don't think I've seen that trick before. I probably have. If you go through my video history, feel free to. There's some amazing puzzles there, but don't do it looking for this. Um, there's probably dozens of things looking for that. This is 4, 5, 6. So this is a 4, 5, 6 triple. The 6 must be in there. That's not the 6, and I've broken the... No, I haven't broken the puzzle. Because if this is the 6, this is going to be lower. This is not the 6. This is 4, 5, and 6. That is stunningly good. The 4 makes this the 5. This has to be consecutive with 5, so it's 4. That is magical. Now I need to figure out how to continue the puzzle. One is in one of those three. Because I can't just say, oh, I've got two options so I can pencil mark them. I can't do that. So this is maximum eight. See, it's, yeah, it, because it's a quadro quattri, it's not over yet. Although these are restricted. They can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 7, 8, 9. And there's no 7 there. That's an 8 or a 9. This is maximum 8. This is maximum 7. This is maximum 6. This is not maximum 5. It's maximum 4. And this is maximum 3. So 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. And it's not maximum four, it's maximum three. So this is a one or a two only. One, two, and three are all in there. But this could be three, four, five, or six. Four, five, six, seven, and six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. The seven in this box must be in one of those two because I can't put it this far down the thermo and I can't put it in either of those cells. So it's in one of those two. Four, five, six are up here. Six, five, four, three, two could work, I suppose. Or these are just... Yeah, four, five, six here works, I think. Although if this, no, four, five, six here doesn't work because this would be a five, which would need a four or a six there. And if this is four, five, six, the five has nothing consecutive with it. So this can't be four, five, six. One of these digits must be in here.
but I don't know how that helps me. Quattro Quadri is weird. So what's on this? I mean, I could do them. Maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum six. Ooh, maximum three, maximum two. This is maximum nine, maximum eight. This can't be a seven, so the maximum is six. This can't be five or four, so the maximum is three, maximum two. It must be two and three. That was unexpected. So this is four, five, six, five, six, seven, or eight, and it can't be a six. Six, seven, eight, nine. So one is in one of those two. That was unexpected. So one, I need to put a four in one of those. That's not it. Five is in one of those. What's this? It could be one. It can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is only one or nine. Nine can't be there. Nine could be in any of those. Oh, this can't be a five. This is a seven or eight. So this can't be a six or a seven. This is an eight or a nine. So, if this was 7, 8, that would be broken. This can't be a 7 now, because if this is 7, this would be 7, 8, and that would have no fill. There's no 7 there, so there's no 6 there. 3, 2, 1... Hmm... Anti-king. Need to think more about the anti-king. Like, what is this cell? I'd completely forgotten the anti-king again. But I'm not seeing where to use it, except maybe here. Can't be one. Could be two. Could be three. Can't be four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This is only two or three. So the one and the one can't be in those. This is the one. That's a one, which is taking one out of those, making that a one. Huh. Anti-king. There's got to be something more I can do with that, right? The seven is looking across. That's not the seven. That's the seven. So these are two, three, eight, nine. So two, three, eight, nine. There's no nine there. So the nine on this box must be in the diagonal. So this is the one. This is not the one. Okay, that digit There's no two on the diagonal. Two is in one of those two. But they, but they could be the same, I think. Seven in this box. Can't be in any of those. Can't be in any of those. Can't be there and can't be there. So seven is in one of those two. That's not helping. These are four, five, six, and nine. Now there's no six in either of those. So there's a six in one of those two. There's no five there. There's no nine there. Four, nine. Can I narrow that down? 
The six is in there, it says there's no six in those. Right. So where's six in this? Oh no, six could be in any of those, I think. But this can only be from three, four, five, six, seven, because it has to be consecutive with that. It can't be four. It can't be seven. There's something, there's got to be something going on here. If this is three, this is four, and that has no fill. This can't be a three. If this is three, four, it's the only thing that's consecutive with it, but this has to be lower than four, which would be three, and there'd be two threes. There's no three here. This is five or six, which is a four, five, six triple, and that's the nine, that's the four. There's no four in either of those. This is a five, six pair, making a five, six pair, making that the four, that the three, that the two. There's no two there. The four is consecutive with five, making that the six and that the five. The three makes that the two. The three means by king's move makes that the eight, which makes that the nine and that the three. The eight looks up making that the nine. I just need to fill this box out. There's no five here. These are six, seven, and eight. There's no six here. This is the seven, eight. That's the six. And the seven means that's the eight and that's the seven. And that is the solution to the puzzle. There's some really cool stuff in there. The way this consecutive dot blew it open once I realized that what I needed to do, all of these thermos were very clever. There's some amazing quattro quadris out there. Really, really cool stuff. Please let me know below, apart from how the weather is, what you think of these quattro quadri puzzles. They don't get as much engagement as the Sudoku, and that's fine. Um, but I'm really interested what people think of them. Um, I mean, I'm really enjoying them, and I do this channel for fun. So <laughs> I'm going to do what's fun. Um, so, yeah, the... Really, really cool stuff. Thank you, Maya. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying the content. And as always, good luck with your solving.